Right. Each and every week we do a question. And at the moment we are on this game of the year trend. So game of the year through the years, we are jumping in at 2007. 2007 was a banger of a year. What and I, I, couldn't, year. Oh, I could not hold it for a week and get Ian, Graham oh. and Jamie. I'm, I'm so sorry. I apologise. I mean, if Maybe. they had a thought about it, they'd have thrown it up in the show notes beforehand. But, you know. Yeah, well, Fuck I think them. they were far too excited by you know, having <laughs> a couple of beers. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that uh, that hen weekend and getting their nails done is uh, really exactly. exciting for them. But let's get into 2007. It was a very good year, as one man once said. Ross, give me your your peach of uh, 2007. So I, I'll, I'll ramp it up. I'll, I'll go. I'll leave my, my creme de la creme to the end. Okay. So I had Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, or Gro for short. Gra. Um, brilliant game. Just it added. It had everything that. Rainbow Six Vegas had with your call outs and that, but like some of the smart weapons that they had and things like that, and the drones, the visor, and stuff like that. It was just beautiful looking game, brilliant tactical shooter. Um, put the building blocks in for games like Siege and stuff like that. Um, following that, the classic, the one of the most talked about games on the po- podcast, Portal 2007. Can't speak highly enough of it. Pretty much everybody in the show has discussed Portal at great length and how fantastic a game it was. And then the creme de la creme, and no, for listeners that are going to be shocked by this answer, it was not Mass Effect. Oh, you have something different. Yes, because I didn't get on the Mass Effect train until Mass Effect 2 came out, and then I went back to play Mass Effect 1 first and missed Mass Effect first time round. Mine's was playing as Altair in yeah. Assassin's Creed. So what? just the first okay. one of the series, just totally, the, like Prince Persia had been about, but Assassin's Creed was just a oh, beautiful yeah. looking game, fantastic story, one of the best running franchises. I think they've had maybe three, two, three games that are push that have been shit compared to every other one that they've put out. It's brilliant series, still continues to be one of my favourite series today, but 2007, Assassin's Creed, Altair, playing in Middle East, brilliant, absolutely, just fantastic game, totally unique in what it was for its time, and 100%. cannot cannot think of a better game in 2007, unless I discovered Mass Effect then, but still. <laughs> Yeah, 2007 was a very, very good year. Um, I'm not going to reel off some of the games that were there because I haven't got the page open and I would bore you to death just mentioning um, some of the games. I'm going to do a top three, actually. Let's do it. Let's do. So my... Fuck it, there's only two years. Why not? Fuck it. Let's go crazy. Let's go mad. Let's... um, No. So at number three, I am going with a little title called Seen It. Now, do you remember this game? That was the video. Yep, the so video the, video game, wasn't so it? So it was a yeah, it was a quiz game. Um, you stuck the disc in. You got these four hunky controllers that plugged in. So, hang on, if I remember correctly, you plugged in like a receiver. Yep, and then onto they, your Xbox, okay. and then you had like a handheld. Yep. So you had the buzzer at the top, big round thing, and then you had your your coloured buttons. So you could play the game with controllers. Have a play with it with. The buzzers were was, was How you're meant a lot to play better. It. Totally. So it'd go through mu- movies. Um, it would give you questions about the mo- the the movie. You'd have to answer it. It was just so much fun. It was definitely kind of a party Christmas. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. A great Christmas party game. night game. A hundred hundred percent. Um, I'm actually now thinking about it. Gutted that I sold mine. I wish I kept it. It was such a cool game. Um. On that, but, if that's the type of game that you're after, it's quiz time is one that you play on your phone. Very okay. si- very similar idea. Everybody with a phone, you get a room code. Same as... Um, yeah, I know the one you're Jack thinking Jackbox. Yeah. Same as that, but it's all to do with things. And the host is fucking brilliant because okay. the at the start of the game, you type in your name and they'll go, Daniel. Did I pronounce this correctly? And you say, yes. And then when you do, she spends the rest of the show 
fucking ripping the shit out of you every time you get an answer <laughs> wrong. She's brilliant. So no, that's another. That's just when you're saying you you missed the nostalgic thing. Jump into yeah, that. Jump into that. Right, I'll have a look at that one. Uh, we'll have a look at that one. Shouldn't My... have to. It's um, in our game pass or in our game share. Oh, excellent! Fantastic. <laughs> um, my other, my number two is Call of Duty: Modern Warfare. What Modern a game Warfare that was! Modern two. Warfare Four. Oh, fuck, was it? Hang on a second. Sure, it was four. Uh, right, I'm going to mess this up quick. Uh, fill quick. the air with fluff. Yes. Um, come on, Daniel. Not... Come on, Daniel. So, yeah, don't. Not. My, oh god. Oh, he's fucked up. He's yeah, fucked up. It was more than worth it for. Came out on the fifth of November, two thousand and seven. What a penis! Right, Don't worry, I'll yeah. help you. Thank you, because my typing is so slow. Um, Modern Warfare, 4, what a game! Um, I think that was probably the last Call of Duty of that generation. Thought I missed that once it started going Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and then switching between kind of um, Black Ops with zombies, and that was it. I was done. But that was the last Call of Duty game I played. The multi, and I, I think I still had the reactions at the time to play multiplayer. Debatable, debatable. But yeah, that I think that was the the last kind of Call of Duty multiplayer that I enjoyed and I was, I want to say, semi-good at. Um, but my number one game of that year is the one and only Bioshock. Oh! Like I said, the, the year, 2007, were just, they were bangers almost each and every month um bioshock was beautiful playing in um your plane crashed you found atlantis if i vaguely remember the right name of the town uh, or city you go in you have to uh, fight big daddies and you could save or kill little sister well, did sorry, you just see atlantis yeah it's not atlantis i do, can't think do you mean rapture yet. rapture thank you <laughs> Thank you. Richard. I haven't even played the game. <laughs> uh, to, I couldn't think of the... I, you know when you play something and you can't remember it? So you just associate I, a big water city, it must be Atlantis. They're all the same, aren't they? I think <laughs> it was derived off Atlantis. Um, yeah, and then saving or harvesting the little sisters and giving you that kind of, do I save them? And if I save them, I don't get enough of the, whatever the um, kind of the power Adam. thing was. Yeah, Adam. And then if you harvest them, you got more. However, if you got more, you got the bad ending. And it yeah. played with that kind of light and dark element. Um, it was so cool um, and definitely worth a play if you haven't played it. And it had a very cool kind of 1950s, 60s kind of vibe to it as well. So, you know, old style telephones like bird cages, but the old kind of gold dome ones that you would expect Tweety Pie to be in and stuff like that. Um fantastic game. Um and I'm not going to say there's a twist at the end. It's it's a game that I've never played and it's like I don't know why I've never played it because like reading about it, it sounds like right up my street. Um it looks fantastic. Obviously they've done the the remaster with a bundle one like one, two and then Infinite is the third one I'm sure. Yeah. So I, 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 I've got them all sitting there. I've got the Bioshock collection on my Xbox. Yeah. And for the life of me, I don't know why I've never played it. But it is something. Jump in. Yeah, something that I do need to jump in because, like I say, it's got that. It's first person shooter, but it's got that RPG element type idea because you've got the different powers you can get and stuff like that. So, And some powers you need to unlock other parts of the area. Um, yeah. It's, it's so good. It's The story's enthralling. Um, the fights are a pain in the ass. Big daddies are hard. Yeah, some of the big daddy fights that I've seen look whoosh. That yeah. looks um, um, space it. it. It's really cool. Definitely try and play it um, if you can. Right. Uh, we have Jamie in chat saying hello. We both look lovely. I have uh, said hello, sir. This is for you. I hope you're not drinking too much. 